This is question 10. Col College Board is asking their third question about the Conewago Reservoir, which is in Maryland, where I live. So I'm kind of pleased that we get three questions from my neighborhood because Maryland doesn't often show up. But in this case, they're asking if the reservoir's storage capacity two years after 1928 was between 290,000 and 292,000 acre feet, which of the following must be true, where the storage capacity C is the initial capacity 300,000, and then it's reduced by 1,700 acre feet per year, so minus 1,700 T, where T is years since 1928. And I could solve this one of two ways. I can either set C equal to 292,000 and solve for T, and the same for C equals 290,000 and solve for T. Or I can choose particularly T values and see whether T equals 1, 3, 5, or 7 matches the constraint, the capacities between 290 and 292. And both work, but the faster way is to just choose a T value. So I'm going to type 300,000 minus 1,700 times 1, and I get 298,000, well, 298,300, but that's too big. So T equals 1 does not work. Let's, on my graphing calculator, it's easier to recall the entry, and then I'll type over instead of times 1, times 3, and I get 294,900, which is also bigger than 292. So choice B is wrong. Second enter recalls that entry, and instead of times 3, I have 300,000 minus 700 times 5, and I get 291,500, which is between 290,000 and 292,000. So I'll go with choice C, and just for completeness, second enter, type of 7 over the 5 for a number of years, I get 288,100, which is too low. That's not in this interval because it's below 290,000. So the correct answer is C. Alternatively, I can put in a C value like 292,000 equals 300,000 minus 1,700 T. Subtract 300,000 from both sides. And I get 8,000 equals negative 8,000 equals negative 1,700. T, divide both sides by negative 1,700. And I get T at that end point is 4.7. Which is between 4 and 6. If I did the same at 290,000, this becomes a minus 10,000, and I get t equals 5.88, which is also between 4 and 6. So both endpoints are in the interval from 4 to 6. So solving for the t values also gives me choice C, although I find it easier to just pick a t and see which one matches, or if they don't, see which one is closest. If I had had the misfortune to choose a t value like 4.1, which is a silly choice, I would not have ended up in this interval and I would have had to solve for the endpoints in that case. But by choosing the middle, I figured I was likely to end up in the interval, and it in fact did work. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.